Dear brother, why are you so worried about your freedom and rights in this world? If we are following Jesus, we shouldn't care about our rights and freedom. I'm talking about the freedom that people speak about according to the standards of this world. Everybody wants to defend their freedom. But if we are true Christians, we have to understand that true freedom is spiritual. The only true freedom we can have is the one that we have in Christ. Because Jesus says that he comes to set the captives free. He sets us free from the dominion of the evil one, from sin. If you want to be truly free, dear brother and sister, make sure that you are living in Christ, away from sin and wickedness. That is the true freedom that you should seek. We hear a lot about our rights today. Many Christians also are very angry with the government because they feel that the government is stepping on their rights. Dear brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ was the Son of God. He is God Himself. He didn't need to come here, but He was willing to lay everything down, to ignore the fact that He was God Himself. He emptied Himself and came here on this earth to provide the sacrifice. He went to the cross as a servant. He didn't say, I was God. He was willing to sacrifice himself. He didn't hold on to his right. We as Christians should care only about one thing. That is our freedom that we have in Christ. We don't have any rights here we don't need to get our rights from the government the only thing that we should care about is the mercy that we can get from christ himself we shouldn't care about justice on this earth there will be no justice on this earth this whole world is under the dominion of the evil one if we want to be free we have to be freed by Jesus Christ himself so that we are no longer focused on this world here with all the stuff that is happening I want to read to you from the book of Colossians this is chapter 3 verse 1 if then you have been raised with Christ seek the things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with Him in glory. Dear friends, if Jesus Christ is in us. Jesus Christ is eternal life. He is our life. When He appears, we will also appear with Him. We are joined to Him. That is the spiritual truth. It is the true spiritual freedom that we can have today. Other than that freedom, you will be bound to this dark earth with all the filth that comes with it. This whole world, dear friends, is under the dominion of Satan. Yet people don't see. The reason they don't see is that they are not willing to look for the truth. They are not willing to go to Jesus because they don't love Jesus. They are busy pleasing the flesh. If you want to be truly free, dear friend, go to Jesus and then he will set you free from, from the dominion of the evil one, from sin, from self, from the flesh. This is the true freedom that you can have in this world today.
It is when you set your mind on Christ. When you get born again, you have the Holy Spirit. Then you follow Jesus. I'm here to tell you, dear brother, that if you have that, if you have Christ, you have true freedom. And there is nothing that you should worry about. If tomorrow, if tomorrow you die, you will still live because Christ in you is eternal. Do you have Jesus? Do you have true freedom? Are you focused on things above? And may God bless you.